today's video, I'll be discussing the most dangerous animals in Colorado. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Number one, mountain lions. Mountain lions are one of the biggest cats in North America. They tend to inhabit the canyons and foothills in Colorado, where they can find adequate cover and prey to hunt. There are an estimated 3,000 to 7,000 mountain lions in the state. These big cats have large claws and powerful jaws, which can make an encounter with one of these animals very dangerous. If you happen to come across a mountain lion while hiking in Colorado's foothills, it is important not to make any sudden movement. Slowly move back and make your way in the opposite direction. Attacks are somewhat rare, but have indeed happened in the past. If you decide to go hiking in the mountains or foothills of Colorado, be aware of your surroundings and try not to travel alone. Number two, coyotes. Coyotes tend to inhabit the front range of Colorado and the Midwestern prairies. Although it's rare for coyotes to attack adult humans, they have been known to pursue small pets and children. These animals have a strong bite force and can sometimes be carrying the rabies virus. Coyotes are most common in wilderness and rural areas throughout Colorado, but they can indeed get comfortable in a suburban setting. It is not wise to feed coyotes because this can make them less weary of humans, which can lead to potential attacks. Coyotes also tend to hunt in packs, so be careful if you ever go out camping. Number three, elk. Elk are known to inhabit route national forests and other wilderness areas around the state. At over 280,000, Colorado has the largest elk population in the world. Elk are often confused with moose, but they are indeed different. Moose are much smaller and also have a darker coat. Elk can weigh around 1,200 pounds and definitely have the potential to be dangerous. Do not get too close to these creatures and be aware of your surroundings at all times. Female elk have been known to attack humans when defending their young, and male elk can attack during mating season. Number four, spiders. There are two main types of venomous spiders in Colorado, the brown recluse and the black widow. Brown recluse spiders are usually found in the southern United States, but they have been known to travel to other areas as well. In Colorado, this spider likes to hide in dark and secluded areas, such as a gutter, wood chip pile, basement, garage, or pile of leaves. The venom from a brown recluse bite can cause the death of skin tissue and blistering of the contact area. Fun fact, I was personally bit by one of these spiders in Massachusetts when I was about 13 years old. The bite occurred on my head, of all places, which led me to develop a decent sized bump. I was unaware it was a brown recluse bite until I had to go to the hospital due to the pain coming from my head. The doctor later told me it was indeed a brown recluse spider bite. Not fun. So even if you don't live in the southern states, it is possible for these arachnids to make their way up north usually when accidentally transferred with produce or other materials. The other type of venomous spider in Colorado is the black widow. Black widows are far more common in Colorado than the brown recluse. A bite from a black widow can cause nausea, muscle pain, paralysis of the diaphragm, and breathing difficulty. Although a bite from this spider doesn't cause many serious long-term health issues for an adult, a black widow bite for a small child or elderly person can be fatal. Number five, snakes. There are two types of snakes in Colorado that can cause a serious threat, the prairie rattlesnake and the masaga rattlesnake. Commonly known as the diamondback, these two types of snakes can cause serious harm to humans and other animals. Although these snakes can be found all throughout Colorado, they mostly inhabit the foothills of the mountainous regions. Rattlesnake venom usually contains hemotoxin, which causes the decay of flesh and skin tissue. Bite symptoms include weakness, sweating, blurred vision, difficulty breathing, and vomiting. Seek immediate medical attention if bit by one of these snakes and try to remain as calm as possible. An increased heart rate can cause the venom to spread at a higher speed throughout the body. If you decide to go on a hike in the foothills of the Rockies or find yourself walking through a prairie, make sure to watch your step and be aware of your surroundings. Number six, black bears. Black bears are known to frequent areas around Aspen and Gambles Oak. They can also be found in open areas with natural fruit sources. 
Black bears are the only bear species found in Colorado. Although attacks are rare, they have happened in the past. There have been four recorded bear attacks that have resulted in fatalities since 1960. Although black bears are not naturally aggressive, they can attack if protecting their young or if they sense danger. These massive animals have an extremely strong bite force and large claws. If you see a black bear in Colorado, make sure not to get too close. If you feel as though the bear is closing in on you, make as many loud noises as you possibly can to scare them off. Number seven, ticks. Ticks tend to be found in the long grassy areas throughout Colorado. The Rocky Mountain wood tick has been known to bite both humans and dogs. A bite from one of these blood sucking parasites can sometimes result in Colorado tick fever. Symptoms of this fever include fever, chills, headache, body ache, and fatigue. More extreme cases can result in vomiting, skin rash, abdominal pain, and a sore throat. In order to prevent tick bites, be sure to use an effective bug spray and regularly check for ticks. As long as you are aware of your surroundings, Colorado is a beautiful state to live in with a lot to offer. Thank you so much for watching my video. Help my dream come true of doing YouTube full time by subscribing to my channel and leaving a like. Have a great day. Check out my online store, David Allen Prince. I mostly make products that are tailored to different cities and states in the USA. You can find coffee mugs, hoodies, t-shirts, iPhone cases, and candles. I truly love making YouTube videos and would love to make it my full-time job. So if you want to support me, check out the shop. Get 10% off at checkout with code Dave. Shop link will be in the bio. And if your city or state isn't on one of my products, DM me on Instagram and I'll add it to my shop. Thank you very much.